Hello everyone, I'm Laku and this is another guide video for Crow Castle. I was asked to do a video about my dragon farming and my current legendary dragon build. And well, yeah, I leave the please, so here we go, here you are, let's go through my my current dragon build and see what kind of things you need to consider when you're trying to beat the legendary dragon first time. And you can easily just adjust this to Sin as well if you're still if you're still struggling with him. But let's see how you kill a dragon. Great, so let's take a quick glance on the build. First, I want to point out two main things about dragon hunting. First is you need a decent castle level to have enough health to survive the, the dragons and decent healing abilities, so you want the Dark Elf and Smith for your build, at least when you're trying to beat him for the first time. The other one is don't use summoned units, because they get so easily killed by the dragon breath, flame breath attack. They're not gonna do that good to you, so you, you wanna focus on heroes that can have a ranged attack and no summons. But if you go through the build, nothing special with the buildings, these are the same as in every build, basically. But if you go through the heroes, well the first is you want the Dark Hunter here, because you need to buff the Town Archers, which is obvious in basically every build, no big deal, really great guy. And in the middle you want the Dark Elf for the healing, healing purposes, you want to place her in the middle so she gets the boost, the passive attack speed boost from both, both archers. And you want to set her to attack the boss to do some little, little, little extra damage to the boss and get that constant healing. And as many plus one arrow items as you can get, those will help you greatly with the healing. And for the last one, the Dark Ranger, this is your boss killer, this is your dragon killer. And you want to level this guy for dragon hunting. And also set, set her to attack the boss so she can deal a shitload of damage to the dragon. If you have boss damage items, that's great as well. But the main thing is just use Dark Ranger, set her to boss, and spam the skill. Okay, for the second row, I have the Witch Trio, which is okay. You can. You can replace them with something else if you prefer, but I prefer the witches. They do some some damage and they help me to control the ground mobs quite easily, so so that's great. Dark Ice Wizard and Lightning Sorcerer and Fire Wizard. You could take I don't know, Mech Ram, Flame Ogre, other range and units here if you wish. But I prefer the Wizard Trio. And for the third row, we have uh, Pure Wizard, of course. This is obvious for every build. Faster, faster cooldowns, and so is Dark Ranger, obvious for every build. So the thing is, you cast Dark Ranger, Dark Necromancer, what I'm saying, Dark Necromancer, and then you cast Dark Ranger to get the maximum out of the the defense reduction and do as much damage to the dragon as possible. And you're trying to aim it so that you don't use it right before the dragon flies away, because that's gonna be a wasted skill. And here on this side I have Zeus, because he's a newcomer to the game and he does free damage, mana free damage and it's some some damage to the boss as well as for the crown units. I've set him to attack boss as well for that little little extra damage. Then on the f final row I have Bishop to boost the hero's attack speed and Town Archer damage even further, so because Town Archers are gonna be Another great damage dealer to the dragon, with along with the Dark Ranger. So you want to boost those. Plus, the bishop is really mana cheap. You're not going to have any problem with mana when you're using bishop. A smith. This, this is obvious for the healing purposes. You want smith. You're going to need, especially when you're trying to beat him for the first time, you're going to need smith to heal you every time. And the last hero, I have a Dark Assassin here, just because because monsters attacked by Dark Assassin will get plus 300 damage, 300 percent damage in the next critical strike, and this gonna gives you, give you some extra extra damage to the enemy dragon as well. 
because your town archer is gonna have 100% critical chance, so it's gonna be plus 300 damage, 300, 300, 300% damage. And for him, you want attack speed as much as possible. Attack speed for the dragon hunting, for waves and shit you want cooldown most likely or something, but for dragons you want just attack speed. Because you don't really need the skill here, you need his basic attack to give the debuff to the dragon. That's for heroes. Uh, for towers, yeah, these are okay. The only good towers really are in this game are the lighting tower and ice tower for slowing purposes, but these are okay. They don't do much damage, they are not the vital part of it, but they are, they are fine. I prefer zero. If you prefer someone else, use him. No big deal. For the castle parts, I have actually... Wait, yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. So I have a ballista set to attack boss for a little, little extra damage. Then I have the lightning castle, which is for air, but yeah, that's because I've been using him. Using it in the way build. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, it can be auto. And for the last I have the sealed castle for extra defense against the dragon attacks. You may want to use the minigun here if you are struggling with the enemy, the ground mobs, which you shouldn't be. But the minigun can't actually hit the legendary dragon, the, the range is not enough to hit, hit the legendary dragon, so you, can, you might just as well take the sealed castle for extra defense for the legendary dragon. And for the treasures, depending how good you are, how much health you are, have and how high level your units are, you want more or less defensive stuff here. The web is not gonna be useful against dragons, so no point using that, but you, you will want the unicorn shield, you will want the broken shield, you might want the bottomless red potion as well. I don't need it, I would probably not need both of these either. But this is, this is a great great way to start out and see if you're strong enough or not, and adjust accordingly. And that's the, that's the build, let's kill a dragon. So this is, I'm pretty overleveled for the Legendary Dragon now. But the thing is, you wanna keep the, yeah, you wanna keep the ground mobs as far back as possible, so you, your Town Archers will attack the dragon as much as possible. And if you're running row on HP, you will cast Smith to heal. And there we go. Shit. Anyway, that's for my dragon farming. I haven't been farming the Legendary Dragon that much yet, because I've been pushing with the guild for so many seasons now. But I think it's time to do some dragon farming somewhere near in the future. Maybe I'm gonna aim for that plus 10,000. Like, Nick, I don't know what you have at the moment, Nick. If you're watching this, comment. But yeah. Good luck. I hope this helps you. Any comments are welcome. Any opinions are welcome. Please leave them in the comment section below and remember to hit the like button. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.